Hi, everybody. All right. I don't know what I did, but from the looks of the chocolate milk on the workbench there, I must be nursing a severe hangover. Okay, in this video, we're going to start working up the CAN bus. But before we do that, I do owe an explanation of all of the audio, and you're going to see all of that in this video. So the background is I've got my number one com, the nice one that sits at the on the panel, and I wasn't getting any audio out. All right, so I, I so I call Garmin. Well, actually, what I what I do is I buy the second com, which you're about to see me unbox, which is the remote com. So there's one for the panel, and there's one that's in that sits in the back because I don't have room in the front unless I put it in some weird place, and I didn't want that. So I get the second com in. I hook it up. Sound is perfectly fine. Call Garmin. I go through all the steps. I show them my wire, everything. They're like, hmm, yeah, I think you're just going to go ahead and send it in. So they send me an RMA. I send the radio back. They send me a new one. Guess what? Still no audio. This new com that you see here, which is the remote one, it's it's the exact same box as the other com. It just doesn't have a faceplate, basically. Uh, it works fine. The one that Garmin sends doesn't. So here's the... Here's the punchline. Let's go to section inside the GT200B, or GTR200B, is the section 3.6.4.3 audio setup, namely the intercom setting. Turns the intercom function on or off. When intercom is disabled, music and auxiliary inputs are also disabled. Intercom disabled is the suggested setting when the GTR is being wired to an audio panel. That's right. So the second I turn off the internal intercom, guess what happens? All the sound starts popping out. Now, the remote com does not have an, uh, an intercom. That's con that's important. So it doesn't have that setting. This is a setting that you uh, get to from the configuration mode of the actual panel itself. I mean, the actual com unit. Uh, I don't know what surprised me more. The fact that something, I mean, because it's not like people just use these comms in a vacuum. Everyone's got an audio panel. Uh, so I don't know what's a little more surprising. The fact that that setting wasn't like plastered all over the place, like, hey, are you having a problem hearing? Maybe it's because you have the intercom turned on, right? One, that wasn't like in giant flashing lights. Dear idiots, don't forget this setting, because I'm one of the idiots, obviously. And the other thing is that even with all the discussion and telling Garmin everything, they never even thought about suggesting that. They just went like, yeah, must be a busted radio, send it on in. I even told them, I'm like, yeah, I've got a, I've got an audio panel, here's my entire stack. And they're like, yeah, it must be a bad comm, so. It's just my own ignorance. Look, I'm not going to try to make any excuses. I'm in IT. I don't read manuals. <laughs> all right so while you're watching me so uh, anyway in this uh the next three videos including this one it's all about working up the can bus so we're finishing the can bus on both sides uh, i've got some q a i'd like to go over while we're here uh let's see jeff paggio jeff i hope i get your name right he was asking about hooking the canopy unlock switch with the pimp lights that's not a bad idea it's kind of like the dome lights in your car lets you know if your if your dome's open car is open. The only problem with it, with that, is that unless it's nighttime, I wouldn't be able to tell. I'd have to look underneath, like, oh, wait, let me look underneath to make sure the lights are on. Uh, but for convenience, I can definitely see how that would work. So I'm actually going to, I'm, I'm going to check that out. My plan was just to have a indicator light on the panel that said, hey, your pimp lights are on. That way I could just reach, because the, the plane's keys are going to have the fob with it. I can just reach over to the fob and click it off, even even in flight. So, thank you, Jeff, for that question. Uh, Thomas Altruda, those step lights are a cool idea. Oh, and I talked about the electrical tape. So, yeah, I used electrical tape. The reason I used electrical tape to sort of seal up the pimp light wires is because uh, the, you know, the... The terminals are very large and the wire is very small. And what I would need would be like 8 to 1 <laughs> shrink wrap tubing so that it would grab the wires. But there is no such thing. So, But don't worry, Thomas. I use only the highest quality 3M electrical tapes. That shit ain't cheap. Alright, next video, more CAN bus and maybe more laughter at me. So, <laughs> see you soon.